YouTube, 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 what the word is, man. It's your boy Bray Hawker checking in, man, on this Monday morning. Uh, not really Monday morning. It's like, yeah, it's like 1 50 in the afternoon, 1 or tomorrow morning. But yeah, it's like uh, this much my first load uh, of the week right here. Starting off fresh Monday off my home time. Uh, picking up in Phoenix, Arizona. Got to drop off in Sacramento, California tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. So uh, yeah, this video, I just figured like, uh, I got to. Um, Somebody asked me like how you do the arrival and departures when you get to a shipper and a consignment and all that and how to scan the BOLs in and like a scale ticket and all that. I don't know how many videos, because it's going to be a couple videos. So I don't know if it's going to be, I'm going to merge all of them together. I don't know if I'm going to do the consignment part because I don't get that to tomorrow night. So I want to keep, I, I, want, I want to drop the video today. So I'm just going to do the arrival part and the the, the, uh, the departure part is basically the same thing. You just got to do the same procedure. So when you see the arrival part, you'll pretty much know how to do the, you know what I'm saying, the departure. I mean, not even a departure, because you only do a, 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 like a one. I'm finna show y'all how to do that, but when you get to the, the consignee, it's basically the same thing you do when you get to arrival, which I'm finna show y'all in a minute. And then the, uh, the BOL and how to scan all that in. Oh, so this might have to be like a two part. I don't know, because I gotta show y'all. I can show y'all all that right now instead of me actually scanning something in. I can show y'all how to, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do that right there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. How you, how you do the arrival. And how you scan the BOLs and all that. I ain't gonna do no scale ticket because scale ticket, you pretty much scan that in when you deliver the load. So that's like a PO. You get money back. You're gonna get your money back for all the uh, scale tickets and all that. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you had to pay for yourself, you know what I'm saying? You get reimbursed with all that once you scan all that in with the uh, delivery of the bill of lading that signed and all that. So I'm gonna do that video right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do that real quick since I'm, already, I, I'm at the place and it's. No, so I just got to this place. I signed in, checked in, and I gotta wait till they give me a dock door. But I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know how this, you know what I'm saying, how it go. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty simple, man. It's easy, it's easy. So uh stay with me. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Alright, man. As you can see, this is what happens when you get to a shipper. Your uh call con will automatically like a GPS will automatically uh like this this will pop up. It's gonna say arrival detected. This is what happens. They usually say they don't uh, like confirm it until you check in, which is what I do. But some people just confirm it as soon as they get there if they know exactly where they at. See if you this your if this your first time at a place, don't just hit confirm until you know it's the spot that you're supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to confirm it and then have to you know what I'm saying have to go to a whole other location, something like that. So like I know this place right here, so I I want to click confirm because I want to show y'all like how it go, like how how it look when you first do it. I don't want, I don't mean to keep. Messing up the okay, it's like a blur right there. I'm gonna focus it in right there. We go. All right, so once you get to a place, uh, all you do is okay, this iPad got no, okay, hit that confirm right there. Bow, once you confirm it, oh, that's what happens. GPS gonna automatically pre arrival. You ain't gotta do that, but arrival right there. See, it says I confirmed it, say arrive. That's how you gotta do. And once you uh get loaded. So everything you really do is like um, the bold letters. So the pickup, the pickup final checklist, and the departed. That's the only thing you really do. Sometimes the depart won't let you uh, automatically. Like sometimes they won't let you do it. They be like, you gotta complete all prior tasks before you do it. So I just like once you got the pickup final checklist, once once that checked off, you can just go ahead and uh, take off. And once you uh, pull off away from the uh, shipper, some of the ping on your call can be like. A uh, departure from such and such has um, been like you know what I'm saying GPS a pick up that you left the place, and I just always hit no. It'd be like a yes or no, and I always hit no. But as far as this, okay, once you come up from front that you got to the uh, arrival right here, bow. Okay, here we go. Now you can do the running late and all. I never had to do none of that. I just do this right here, pick up, select. Okay, once you hit pick up and select, come on, pop up now. John, did I hit select? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, that just took a little minute for it to come up. Okay, then it show you. Arrive with trailer. I came with trailer two four six nine eight. That's the trailer I, I had. Did the trailer need a washout? No, I didn't do a wash. I never had to do a washout. Uh, some places, some they say some shippers and all that will call you to do a, a, a washout, like uh, your trailer, like wash it out, and like Martin will send you a location where you go should go uh, get it washed out and all that. But I never had to do that. I, I didn't have like 15 loads, 15, 16 loads, something like that. And I never had to wash out. I just always swept it out. So, yeah, I did that. So, okay, it said, watch our location. Leave that blank because I ain't get it. I'm going to leave with the same trail I came with. Only time you don't, you put a different trail you left with is when I like, got a spot load. Like, you picking up, a dropping hook, and you dropping off. 
you know what I'm saying? Pay, yeah, like basic information right there. Then you say fuel level on your reefer. Whatever uh reefer, like you got mine is at three fourths right now, so I'm gonna click that. Okay, I signed in at 13.30, which is 1.30 on this time. I didn't arrive at the dock door yet. They ain't give me the dock door yet, but that's what the dock door would be that second line right there. Dock arrival time. I didn't do that yet. And then gonna sign like uh when you get your paperwork and you finna leave. That's the when they get your paperwork. That's when you do like you know what I'm saying the bill of, uh BOL sign out time. That's that right there. Okay, then you put your weight. No matter of fact, is that right? Yeah, I'm, okay, my bad, my bad, y'all. I don't mean to confuse y'all. Okay. After you do your uh when you sign in, you put that time. The second one is the uh dock arrival time, the time you get in the dock. And this third time is the time that you sign out. You know what I'm saying? You got all the paperwork, you about ready to head out. Nigga asked you, is all oh, that's correct? You hit yes. And then your bill BOL, you can pretty much put your trip number, you can put the bill that's on the paperwork. The thing might tell you that it's not it's not correct or something like that. Just hit like uh just say, do you want to continue? Even though you put a certain BOL number, just hit yes. That really don't matter right there. Like it never like I just put the, my trip number, you most of the time I just put my trip number right there for the BOL. And uh ET at the next stop, which is gonna be my uh what time I gotta be there tomorrow. My appointment is for 2100 tomorrow night. I hit that. It's gonna be for the ninth of tomorrow, and I, you know, the rest of this is pretty much common sense. Uh, the, how much your weight is, how many peaches you have on the, uh, with the paperwork, and how many pallets. That's all that. So I can't go to the next page right now because I should. I, I, I'm gonna make another video once I get my paperwork to show y'all. You know what I'm saying that, but this is pretty much like the basics of it. You know what I'm saying? What's number two? Yeah, it's not gonna let me go to the page two. It's not gonna complete this, but yeah, but this is pretty much basic stuff like that. In the, in the next part. It would just be like um what's the what's the temperature you have to put to have it set at which is negative 10 at this place right here that i'm at it's uh negative 10. i gotta have it set at negative 10 so it's gonna be, it's gonna be i'll show y'all in the next video but that's pretty much what it is right there it's like pretty much common sense but this just this part of it you know what i'm saying and i can go ahead and show y'all like as far as like since i'm so I, like you know what I'm saying? i don't want to wait i can put that on this video right here um as far as scanning your bills i do mine on the phone they give you something uh in your truck to where you can scan in your truck like but this i feel like this is just more quick you know much quicker right here okay you so it's pretty much I, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody can use this before if you haven't all you gotta do download the martin app okay once you get that you just scan the documents and whatever document you want to scan use the camera uh maybe you'll take a picture and you already had the thing uh, a picture already taken if you already had a picture taken you just add from existing which is like your your uh your, your pictures that you already had in uh camera. But use camera, uh okay, say I took a picture of this right here. Uh took a picture of that. Oh so say that's my thing right there. Okay, I, I scan that in. Uh scan. Uh review that. I'm pretty much sure I can read that. Uh you can read that. Can't y'all read that? I can read that. Accept that. Contact this is gonna be just the options you have. Bill of laden. Okay, so when you pick up from a shipper. This is the one you do when you take a uh, take a picture of the uh, paperwork that you got from the shipper. This is the one you scan in, bill of that first one. Um, let me see some. Okay, and when you delivering is obviously this one. Deliver delivery bill of laden right here, right here, just right here. If this was um a scale ticket, all you gotta do same thing. Scroll. It's gonna tell you right here. Scale ticket. Y'all see that? Uh, hit that. That was your scale ticket, but it's pretty much if this just a ship with you at the ship with bill of late when you're delivering, deliver your bill of late. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all the only, only, only three I ever had to use the bill of late, the delivery of bill of late, and the scale ticket. Only three I ever had to use, but that's how you do it the scale ticket right there. The scale ticket, okay. And say if, if you had anything else you want to use, um, scan, take a picture of it. You hit the use cam right here, and it'll be a picture right here. But once you're done, all the documents you have, hit next. And you're gonna you have a driving number. This is my driving number, and then you put your uh, trip number in. It'll be a one four a one four number, something like that. It's gonna be like uh, I like a seven or eight digit number, but you're gonna know it. It's gonna be on every load that you have. You're gonna have a trip number. And when, oh my bad. One of my uh, <laughs> that was my yeah. No, that's not that's not it's not the, need, need to hear there. But once you do that, hit that trip number. You hit next. And then all that's gonna do is make you it's gonna scan it in. I don't wanna hit that right now because I'm I'm not done. But that's pretty much what that is, man. It's it's pretty much all straightforward. You hit it's gonna have that right there. Scan documents, bow, and then you hit the camera at the bottom right, take a picture, whatever you got, hit this hit the uh prompt, uh bill of laden or the delivery of the bill of laden or the scale ticket. 
get to put your trip number in, your driving number, and then hit next, and then you done. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much straightforward. That's all you gotta do with that, man. That's it, man. It's that simple. And I'll show y'all the second part of me uh, once I get loaded and everything like that. Once they give me a dock door, once I get loaded, I'll show y'all the second part once I like leave and all that. Once I'm, once I'm about to uh, leave from this shipper, I'll show y'all the final part of this right here, man. It's pretty much straightforward. I don't mean the video should really be this long, but I want to like, you know what I'm saying, get to detail for certain people that never used this kind of Qualcomm or, you know what I'm saying, they didn't ever have to scan the, the kind of way more than how you scan it. Cause I never uh, had to, um, do like you know all mine was like macro a certain macro i do for each like a macro four for a pickup macro five once i'm putting in my information all that but this is just one big macro right here you hit the arrival detected and this is another way y'all it's called workflow the thing that i'm on right now okay so this right here workflow file and then it'll show this right here right here okay I don't want to cancel it. So I don't want to cancel it. I'm going to keep that right there because it's going to make it easier once I get my paperwork. But yeah, hold up. I think these are the people called me right here for the load. YouTube with the word, man. You know what I'm saying? Last video, I got interrupted by a call, but nevertheless, I got loaded. My bill late right here. I should have waited to record the video because I already scanned in my uh, paperwork. There's only one sheet. I took a picture of this right here, obviously. And I sent it in. I told y'all how to do that on the last video, uh, the last uh, part of the video. But I feel like I feel like that the scanning part is pretty much straightforward. I don't think you know what I'm saying. I should have to elaborate on that anymore. But if I had to, anybody need like extra question about the scanning and things stuff like that, uh, I do that. You know what I'm saying. I do it on, uh, probably the next video or something like that. But just the part that I want everybody to you know make sure they have. But I told y'all I did everything like that. I arrived with that trailer. Uh, no washout. I left with that trailer. That's the amount of fuel I have in my reefer. I signed in at that time. I got docked at 1420. I got uh, loaded in my paperwork by 1530. The times is correct. It's my BOL, which I put my trip number. I told you guys I put that as my trip number every time. ETA to next stop, which is my load that I'm delivering tomorrow. That's 20, 21, uh, not, which is 9 o'clock tomorrow night. That's the weight of the uh, the load I have right now, the pieces and the pallets. Hit next, seal number, which is right there. Y'all see that seal number right there? Yeah. 031173. Okay, 031173. Reef mode is on cycle. It's either gonna be on cycle or continuous. But um, the uh, ship will let you know with, with the whether they want it on to continuous or cycle. Pretty much most of the time it's a cycle, but some people want it on continuous, but okay, no pallet charge, no loading charge, no OSD, um, no placards. Okay, seal is intact. I always put the the temperature and the gauge at the same it's the same amount. <laughs> That's just me. Okay. Like I told y'all, it's gonna stop me from doing my whole trip number, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. One nine one. Hold up. One nine one. See, it's gonna stop, but that's enough numbers right there. Hit done. Wow, just like that, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Then right here. Pick up final checklist. Just check everything that's in here. Scan in. I already scanned in my uh, BOL. Okay, verify bill laden, verify all that. You no, know so I did all that already. Okay. See, this is the part right here. When I hit the party, most of the time, this will pop up. You must uh, do all required tasks before the party. But I, you pretty much, I pretty much did everything. Everything. I hit the arrive, I picked up, and did a pick up final checklist. That always happens. So most of the time, I just go ahead and start uh, rolling and go to my next stop. And when I'm going down the road, some of the pop-up saying uh, departure from such and such is detected, and I uh, hit no. It's a yes or no. I always hit no, and I just keep going. You know, if the uh, dispatch need anything from me, they'll let you know. But most of the time, I just do that, and I'll be good to the next stop. And then I just, you know, what I'm saying. So this is the arrival and departure part. Well, the arrival, and I told y'all about the scanning and all that. And uh, when you get to Kasani, the that. That process is pretty much the same as this one. You're going, it's going like your GPS is going to have a detection of arrival at the uh, consignee. You hit confirm once you check in, 
And then from there, you just do the same thing. Go, instead of pick up right here, it's gonna say um, drop off, or something like that. Uh, um, uh, empty. And after that, it's gonna say uh, delivery final checklist. Just like it got pick up final checklist, delivery final checklist. You check that off and then you, you're done. You go to your next one. It's, just, it's that simple. If, if you have any, like, any more particular, I hope I ain't confused anybody. I'm not trying to confuse nobody. Or nothing like that. I, I kind of make it as easy as it, you know what I'm saying, as it should be with the scanning and arrival and departure and all that. But if you got any like further questions, just let me know. You know, you guys know I have no problem like, you know, uh, helping you guys out like as far as explaining and stuff like that. This video is almost going to be like 20 minutes. So I don't want to be, it shouldn't be this long, but I just want to, you know what I'm saying, get into detail and show you guys like step by step what I do. You know, hopefully it, it works for you guys. So uh, until next time, it's your boy Brett Hogan. Check it out, man. I go deliver this load, Sacramento tomorrow, man. Y'all you know saying get this money, y'all know how it go, man. I'm out, man. Gang. Yo, one more thing, YouTube. One more thing, I forgot to tell y'all, man. Y'all see that right there? It's negative right here, negative ten. Every time you go to a shipper, uh, like you know, so you go to a shipper and you pick it up a load, you always circle the temperature and initial next to it to let uh Martin know that you acknowledge. You know what I'm saying, and you know what's going on as far as where the temperature should be and all that. So that's what you do before you scan the paper again, before you leave the shepherd. You put, uh, you circle that and the initial next to it. And another important thing, you put the shipper and put the in, dock, and out times. So like when you get your paperwork from the shipper right there, you, uh, you do everything, you put all the information in on the Qualcomm. When you're about to scan your paperwork in, right before you scan it, uh, like anytime before you scan the paperwork in, you put, you circle that, uh, that, that the temperature where it's supposed to be at. And then you initial next to it to let them know that you acknowledge and you know like about the temperature. And then you put the shepherd and doctor out time. This helps with your detention pay. So this is one of the important things I forgot to leave. I mean not to leave, but the, the one of the important things I left out uh in the video before I, before I ended it. Um when you go to a shepherd, you put the end time, whatever time you got docked, and every time you sign the paperwork, you you're about to leave. So them three important things you put on there. And when you go to Kasani, you do the same thing, right? Kasani or however you want to do it. And you put the end time, the time you checked in, you put the time you got docked, and you put the time that you checked out. Yeah, it's very important that you do that because that helps Martin, let, uh, let, let Martin know like all the times, uh, every hour that you need for your detention pay. Like that, that's very important. I forgot to put that. That's one of the most important things that you have to do when you sign in your paperwork or you turn your paperwork in when you're scanning it. So before you scan the paperwork in, like I said, I'm doing it one time. I don't want to be repetitive. repetitive. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But circle the temperature, initial next to it. This one you like picking up from a shipper, you do this. Circle that, initial next to it, let them know that you acknowledge it. You put the shipper and dock the out times. This before you scan the paperwork in, then you scan it. They're gonna see this, and then you good. When you go to Kasani, you do the same thing. And then before you uh scan your paperwork for the Kasani, you do the same thing. You end dock the out times and scan that in, let them know. So you get that money, you know what I'm saying? That detention money, because all this money. Nobody want to wait, especially when you get paid by the mile. Or by, by the uh, by the mile, you don't want to wait. That waiting is not where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So that attention pay helps out when it comes to that. So I want to let you guys know that right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Just that. But until next time, it's your boy Duke, man. Boy, bring out the check out this thing, gang.